Okay, YouTubers, this is the Ingrid Prepper. So today's video, we're going to talk about the great drought and is it coming? Now, a lot of us, since we were kids, we've heard about this drought, the great drought, since we were kids. We've known, we've known that the world, or the planet rather, has gone through droughts before. So this is not the first time. But this is the first time that it's going to be, I guess, in our lifetime, and that we can actually do something about it because a lot of us are preppers, right? So a lot of us can do something about it, like store water away. Either get water bottles, get five-gallon jugs, or whatever gallon size jugs you want to get, and treat the water and store it. We can do a lot of that. A lot of you guys have wells. So you might not have to worry about your well, your water supply as long as your well doesn't dry up. But guys, this is something to take note, not to be scared, not to panic, not to flip out. Take note as to what is going on. So according to scientists, I hate saying that, and scientists from China who did the study, they said that this drought is going to be worldwide. So it's going to be a widespread uh, problem, if you will. Now, keep in mind, throughout the world, a lot of places do not have clean drinking water. They just have drinking water. And with a drought to compound that, guys, we're going to start seeing water wars, if you will, between nations. You're probably going to see it between people first. Then you're going to see it between nations. Water is the next gold. That's why they call it blue gold. Companies, private companies like Nestle, if I'm not mistaken, I think even Coca-Cola had mentioned privatizing water privatizing ownership of water, meaning that whatever fresh drinking water is available, they want to own it. That's a bad thing. That is a very bad thing if these people start privatizing water. Now, there's a movie, I know, and I'm really dating myself with this movie. It's called Solar Babies. It was back in 84, I think, or 85. This is where the kids were on skates, and they were like these orphan kids, and they were skating through a desert world, and there was water stored away in like some dam, and supposedly this one place had all the world's water saved behind it. That's what these people want to do as far as privatizing water. Keep it to themselves. Privatizing water, guys, has a... Obviously, I don't have to talk about how bad that is, but when they privatize water, now they can fine you and fuck you if you use that water. If you touch that water, if your toe goes in that lake or that, that reservoir, they can fine you. Privatizing water, guys, is a bad idea, and they were talking about this 10 years ago. But now with this report coming out, I think they're going to use this report from China as an excuse to privatize water or to go ahead and try to privatize water. So this is going to increase agricultural drought by 200%, meaning places like the Mediterranean area territory, United States, Europe, these places are going to experience heavy droughts. And again, it's throughout the world, so it's not just going to be us. The problem, guys, if it's just us, or it's just the uh, UK, or it's just Europe, or it's just fucking the Mediterranean area, that's for them to deal with, and then we can give them water if we want to be nice, right? But now, being that it's a worldwide uh, problem, this is where you're going to have fights over water, over water rights, rather, sorry. So this drought is said to last longer, guys. It's said to last to from 2070 to 2090. Again, a lot of us are going to be dead by then, so it really doesn't fucking matter if that does happen. But if it doesn't, if it lasts longer than that, then we're, first of all, we're screwed anyway if there's a worldwide drought. But a drought lasting that long is definitely going to be a big issue. Now, what to do? The first thing you do is don't panic. Just take note that this could be an issue. Second thing to do, guys, is start getting uh, rain barrels, right? Start getting rain barrels. Get those five-gallon jugs that you can store water. Get those jerry cans that you can store water. Start storing water away. I would stay away from... Uh, plastic bottle waters, you know, like Poland Springs and Deer Park in them, because after a while, those bottles tend to break down. So if you're going to store those waters, those water bottles, you got to keep them in an area where even if they do break down, you know, you can contain the water. But I still wouldn't even drink that water because if that plastic's breaking down, that plastic's in the water. So it might not be a good idea. So just keep in mind, if you're going to store water, make sure you store it in food grade water containers. That is important. Don't just store it in any plastic container because you don't want that plastic leaching into your water over time. So make sure it's food grade, uh, food grade plastic container, sorry. You also want to get yourself water purification system. Again, guys, in case you have to purify some dirty water, in case you got to go to a lake somewhere and filter that water. You filter that water, then you boil that water. 
but make sure you get yourself a water purification system as well because if you have to go that route guys you want some clean drinking water you don't want to drink that shit straight out of the lake or a river or whatever you want to filter that water all right guys so this is the angry prepper thank you for watching you can like and subscribe to this channel like and subscribe to the angry truth channel the angry lensman channel you can also uh head over to the angry prepper fitness channel like and subscribe to that i'll be posting a link within the next week for you guys to start uh subscribing to it other than that guys thank you for watching